Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing an Ice Hole Backpack 30 Quart Cooler. This is pretty massive leak proof uh, cooler here, which uses one thing that I really liked and wanted was an easy in, easy out. It's got a magnetic lid, so no more zipper, no more latch. This latch is on for transport, but once you get it out to where you're going, you release that and you just raise it up, raise the lid up, lower it, and that is it. You're in there and out of there that fast. I made a couple modifications to it. We'll go over what I think you need to do. But this is my new favorite beach cooler. It's comfy, backpack. It's about as big as you want to carry on your back. And that's why I like it because it's perfectly rectangled out. And that means I can pack stuff in here uh, to the very top. And uh, I had an OtterBox backpack before and it was a little awkward the way it closes. So it kind of reduced your capacity down a little bit, but this one, you can pack it completely full and I can get way more in here than I could before. So I'm very happy. This is a heat formed EVA foam body. They say it's the first hybrid cooler with semi-rigid formed body, which provides a hard cooler level of performance in the weight and size of a soft cooler, which is fantastic. This also has an easy access magnetic lid, which we talked about earlier. It's got a latch for travel, but basically when you get to where you're going, you'll just close and open this thing and get in and out just as quick as you can do it. But there's a metal ring lip that is on the cooler itself and the lid has the magnets inside of it. And then that's what basically seals it. And we'll go over some little improvements that I've made to this to make it even better. Of course you do get the Molly uh, system all over this thing, which you can strap whatever you want to it, which I have done. And I'll leave links to every single thing that I have used on this cooler to make it my own. With this Molly system, because you got Molly here, 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 on all, everywhere except for the back, of course. Uh, but I was able to put two pouches on here, which we can put everybody's cell phones and stuff in. It, uh, it got moisture holes in the bottom to keep, keep it dry. It's not completely sealed from the elements, but it'll keep whatever in here uh, dry. You get, I got my water bottle uh, straps here, one on each side so basically i'm like a moving tank of goodies and then back here you do get padded straps padded backrest a little emblem little ice hole patch right here and you do get the 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 uh, harness connection that goes around your stomach area to help secure this thing get a handle up here here's your little hinge here which is just this welded fabric piece that gets kind of permanently bonded here uh Everything, it is lightweight. The bottom has some little rubber feet here, which are, you know, it feels like a hard case, like they say, but you can feel that there is a thin layer here and a thick inside piece, which gives it this solid, uh, rigid feel. Now, the lid, the goody stuff, the magnetic lid slaps right down on here. Now, one thing you'll notice right here is a nice, tube seal, hollow little rubber marine seal that I put on that wasn't there because, hope you can see this, but right here, see that little dent that came from the factory that way? You can push in on the side and hear it pop because there's like a thin hollow uh, metal lip that goes across through here and that's what the magnets stick to. But there's another lip inside here, just on the other side of this metal on the inside. And that's where I was able to put this hose. I'll leave a link to what I got. I'd had it, I was supposed to review this like a month ago, but I'd ordered the piece that went around inside this gasket here. Uh, here's the seam where I cut it and, and, and put the gasket right back here where this hinge is um, to give sort of, I don't know, I guess thought the seam should be back here, I guess. But it's one piece that goes in here I didn't have to cut it anywhere else, so it fit perfect. I think they should do this. I mean, this costs like $9 for a huge roll of it. So this is probably a, maybe a dollar worth of the product that I got total in, in this. So I think this adds an extra seal because it just barely sticks up high enough. And because it's hollow on the inside, it just barely pushes up to the lid and just seals everything off to prevent this dent here from causing air or liquid to come out because it will over time and you'll dent this hollow framing around, I'm sure, uh, over the years. But add this one little, little touch here and I think it fixes any kind of issues you would have with the cooler. 
and the magnets still work great. Seals up great. The lid doesn't come off. And then for travel and transport, you just snap it right down and cinch this tight and you're good to go, man. No leaks, no anything with this gasket now. And um, you get like a hard cooler with a soft cooler benefits of being lightweight and you can pack a ton of stuff into here. I did take the cooler to the beach, put it through its motions for an entire week. I loved it, it kept everything nice and cold. And the good thing is you can get the full size Arctic ice pack. It's a big, tall, wide, thick one. And it fits down in there to be one solid sheet up against the back of it. And the lid will still close. It's just barely enough room for the lid to close. And you can pile everything up in there without any ice. And it'd be right up against that uh, ice pack the whole way of you stacking it up. So that worked out fantastic. I'll leave a link to that also down in the YouTube description. And this is a fantastic backpack cooler. I look forward to having this uh, in my life for quite a while. That gasket took me some work to get. By the way, there's a little story. That's why it's taken a month longer to review this than I wanted to. The gasket was on back order online and I just didn't think I could find it local. Well, I went to the back of the Walmart area. They're back there, the marine little tube seals gaskets with the sticky tape built in to one side. Bought, got that, got home, and I was like, oh my God, this fits so perfect. So I will leave a link to that. It's $8, I think, for uh, like a mile of that stuff. Anyway, the link to this beast will be down in the YouTube description below. So make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that down so you get notified on the next product review I got coming out. This one's a good one and a necessity if you're that beach hauler dad that is tired of rolling those tiny wheels on your huge cooler through that sand and basically just sledding it across because those wheels ain't working, are they? Not like they advertise they're not. See ya.